grandfather was Air Force, um, the other one was Navy, um, so it's, that's a big part of it. And plus, I was a, I was a big fan of Captain America mm -hmm. growing up, huge, and that whole mindset kind of got into me. And so I wa wanted to do something, I wanted to serve, and uh, I couldn't ask someone else to do something that I wasn't willing to do myself. Yeah. And I wanted to be a superhero. And Really? You are a superhero. That's uh, uh, because not only the battles that you might face in the military, but you have a personal battle. So you had an injury, and then things kind of got worse from there. Yeah, I uh, had a work injury back in back before Christmas. Um, just some dropped some equipment, and I ended up taking a lot of weight on my back, which badly hurt some muscles in my back. Um, but it ended up being a blessing in disguise. Um, that it happened to hurt the muscles that were connected to a vertebrae that. A tumor was growing inside and starting to weaken. Um, I, that's how they found the tumor. Mm -hmm. That's right? how they found it. They uh, actually, I fell a little while later, a couple months later, in the uh, parking lot and hit hit my car and fell into the asphalt, which actually fractured my back. Um, that vertebrae made it collapse in on itself. Um, I uh, continued to keep working for three weeks after that because uh, my job's important and. Keeping, keep, kind of, in my mind, keeping in keeping the core values of the Air Force of, you know, service before self. I was, you know, I got to keep working, I got to keep going. But, yeah, but at some point, <laughs> I, had, I had yeah. a, actually had a second fall. I fell in the tub again, and that one really finished me off, and I wasn't able to walk. And so I went into the hospital, and when they did a scan, they uh, found the tumor on top of having the fracture. So it was a bit of a blessing from God there that He, you know, broke my back. So that way I'd find the tumor, yeah. because that's actually, that actually wasn't the main tumor. That was a, uh, a spreading tumor from a tumor that's on my heart. Wow. Um, and one thing that helps you to get a good night's sleep is that mm -hmm. you have a mattress that can work with what your body is mm -hmm. right now. Which is extremely important for me, because um, my whole day can be ruined if I get a bad night's sleep. Because my muscles and my back and everything are already in a very um, tense state from having gone through such a long ordeal. Now, at surgery, they've repaired the, you know, they repaired the damage in the spine, but you know, there's still a lot of recovery, muscular, muscle-wise, to come from. What has this mattress meant to you? Uh, I mean, it's it's hard to to really say because it's it's everything. Like it is my entire day can be ruined if I had a bad night's sleep. I can be in incredible pain. Like, I had a bad night's sleep a couple nights ago, and it made my shoulder hurt, and it's still hurting. Yeah. because I haven't been able to get a good night's sleep on the current mattress I'm on. So when they uh, call and say, hey, we're looking for somebody who needs a mattress over at the Fisher House, and, uh, and they, uh, the, Fisher, the people there were like, hey, we know somebody who would need it. I mean, it, it's, it's amazing. It, I can't really put it into words because it means a so much. A lot of us take it for granted, it, a simple mattress, right? Take, massively take it for granted until you get to a point like where I was at, where I'm at, where lack of support is days worth of pain you're trying to recover from and when you get in a good night's sleep and actually sleep and your recovery helps as well it's important now because you know treating for the cancer causes a lot of fatigue a lot of tiredness and if if I don't get good night's sleep it builds up and it builds up and it makes it harder to go on I can't do my physical therapy if I'm tired yeah. I can't, you can't heal I can't heal exactly I can't heal so it, it it might not seem like much but it is a really important part of my healing process to sleep and that current mattress I was on, I was not sleeping. Memorial Day should be something that is uh, celebrated, in my opinion, in a totally different manner than it's celebrated today in the country. Memorial Day is a day that you go to cemeteries and you should take the time to look at families that actually go to the cemetery and see the sacrifices that they've made. Yeah. Uh, it's something that you can never forget. If you lose a father, a son, an uncle, a daughter, a wife, a husband. And um, I take it personally because I served in the military. And uh, I've been to cemeteries of people that I've known. So when I can help a veteran, like this young man, mm -hmm. I know I say it and you hear it but I want you to understand it. It's more of a privilege for me to help him. He's 28 years old. He's 28 years old. And he made a decision somewhere, for whatever reason, it doesn't matter, to serve this country. Yeah. Where other 28-year-olds didn't. That's very important. Yeah, yeah. You know? And we were talking earlier with him about how simple a mattress is 
to most of us and how misunderstood it is. Mm -hmm. And to him, it's critical. To this young man that broke his back mm -hmm. and has other issues with his skeletal, laying on a mattress is as important as breathing air. Yeah. Because when he's on a mattress, whether he's sitting or laying, he's in immense pain. And if he's on the right mattress, and as we went through the process, I got him to tell me what it is that he's uncomfortable about. Then I have, I laid him on different beds to get him to feel where his pain is. And I promise you, Deborah, when he got to the right mattress, all he said was, ah. Yeah, the and pain he went away. The pain went away, and he fell asleep. Because a lot of times couples will go in and say, okay, I like it like this, you like it like that, let's meet somewhere in the middle. Right. You don't have to meet somewhere in the middle. No. You, you do what's right for your body. Now, a lot of people would think if you're doing that, then that's going to cost so much more. Um, but it doesn't because of where they're buying this mattress. Not a penny more. Not a penny more. We manufacture everything here. It doesn't matter for me if I take a Deborah side of a mattress or Yuval side of a mattress. It doesn't matter. It may matter to our spouses, but... Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but they're going to they're gonna get over it. You know, it is what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But again, to the point where whatever kind of bed you're buying, um, number one, you have to come in here and spend some time. I always tell people, spend a little time because you're going to take them to a, through a process to make sure Correct. they're getting the perfect mattress for them. But whatever bed you're buying, whatever quality you're buying, if you're getting it here, you're getting it for a lot less than you would get it someplace else because your factory is right there. That is correct. Price-wise, it's not even comparable. Quality-wise, we will show you every type of quality there is out in the marketplace. And then we'll show you quality that you can't find in the marketplace. Our number one goal is very simple. You're buying a bed. What do you use a bed for? To rest and sleep. Our concern is that you get the best rest and the best sleep. And not every mattress fits every one. If you have a pillow, bring your pillow. Come here, dress comfortably because we're going to try to make you relax. Stay on the bed. Go through a process. Is it worth you spending 30 minutes of your lifetime for something that you're going to spend one third of your lifetime on? I believe it is. And it's all about you. It's not about us. It's about your comfort, your price points, and the longevity of that mattress. And you will be told only the truth, and you will be fitted in the perfect mattress. If it doesn't work, we're going to invite you back in to make it work. It's not a one-time deal. You always say, I'd rather sell you a mattress rather than sell you a problem. That's exactly right. You've all, thank you very much. My pleasure. <laughs>